I recently had a couple of kidney surgeries and experiencing some lower back pain. To cope with some lower back pain, Jason Crawforth of Idaho picked up some CBD drops while visiting his mom on the Oregon coast. The 51-year-old put the drops to use while camping in the Nevada desert in early September. About two hours later, Crawforth started to hallucinate. I stepped out of my motorhome. My fingers started to tingle. My legs started to go numb. And over the course of about five minutes, I could feel myself slipping away from reality. Crawforth eventually went to bed. When he woke up the next morning, he used the CBD drops again, not thinking they were to blame for the episode the night before. Crawforth then got behind the wheel and drove home to Boise. And I start to get dizzy and my fingers start to tingle. And the last two things I remember is a red car coming towards me and not knowing what lane I'm supposed to be in. Crawforth pulled over and a friend drove the rest of the way. Once home, Crawforth went to the emergency room where he learned he had dangerous levels of THC in his system. THC, of course, is the main psychoactive ingredient in marijuana. It makes people feel high. I did not suspect it was THC. I've never been a person that's used it, not as an edible or smoking, so I wasn't familiar with the effects. Turns out, THC was in the CBD drops Crawforth was using. The select brand drops have since been recalled by the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission. The agency is also recalling select brand THC drops because while they should have detectable THC in them, they don't. And it's just a clear case of products liability. And it's and it's really sad because it's, it's setting the cannabis industry back uh, as well. Attorney Michael Fuller is representing Crawforth and a handful of Oregonians who have filed lawsuits against Curaleaf, the company that owns the select brand drops. Curaleaf has not responded to our request for comment, but it did release a statement to the Oregonian saying it's working with its testing labs, labeling team, and the OLCC to gather all the facts on the mix-up. Well, there should be multiple safeguards in place so that this never happens. I mean, this would be the equivalent of going, like, say, to Olive Garden and getting psychedelic mushrooms in your lasagna. If anybody understands that analogy, it's Jason Crawforth, who no longer has plans to use CBD drops to treat his lower back pain. And now I'm relying on acupuncture and a physical therapist. Um, you know, I have another CBD product, but I'm, I, I don't, I don't want to use it. In Portland, Mike Benner for KGW News.